let's make it easier for the users by having the product categories within the menu up here. They hover over shop, and that opens up, drops down to show you cookies and uh, cakes and so forth. So from here they decide, I don't want to see everything, I want to go to a certain category. Let's edit this menu. Go back to the dashboard. This is something for the notes. Menus in WordPress can have pages, posts, products, categories, etc. Default may be the current pages you have only. So I've got some pages right now, and though that's what's in the menu. It doesn't know that I want categories or anything else. You may have multiple menus. I have the ability to switch menus, put these links versus these links. Why might I want to have multiple menus that I can switch out? What if during the winter time my menu has certain buttons that relate to winter time? Winter sale, winter products. Then when we get to the spring, you know, the spring sale, I swap out the menu to have different items. So I can jump, I can ha I can easily make that to be different things. It's just through here, through appearance. We're in the dashboard, and then Appearance, Menus. Let's click on Appearance, then Menus. And I will say Manage them by going to Dashboard, Appearance, Menus. So the first time we see this, it's a little complex. So let me explain it in general, then we'll do it. We saw up on our menu it automatically put all of the pages that exist, including sample page, which I don't want. So it doesn't know what we want, so it puts everything. The way this screen works is the very first time we've never done any menu organization. So it says, first create a menu. So we're going to create a menu in a moment. We'll call it main menu, and then we'll create. And then we will add the pages or the posts or products or whatever to it. And then we have to say, where will the menu be visible? At the top, at the bottom, at the left? So doing it the first time needs a little explanation. And so our first step, as I'll write it here in the notes, create a menu. So name it. I'm going to say, actually, for step two, apply it to a location. Then step three, add items to the menu. And then four, arrange it as you wish. So a moment ago I said it, I said create, add, apply. I would recommend this is the better way. Because if you never apply your menu, it won't be visible. Similar to when you install a plugin, you have to activate it. You install a theme, you have to activate it. You can create as many menus as you want, but if you never apply them, to a location of your site, they're not visible. So I'll say this will be step two. And then we add stuff to the menu, and then we arrange the menu. This goes first, this goes second, this goes below that. So let's create a menu. Let's call this main menu. Like I said, we can have various menus. We can have a main menu, a sale menu, a summer menu. We can have these links organized however we want and swap them in and out easily. As we, need, as we need it. So I'll create it. Step two in my notes. Where are, we, where are we seeing it at? This theme has a location on the primary, which I suppose is at the top. Secondary, which is probably at the bottom. And you can have, when you're on a mobile device, I don't know why they call it handheld, but on a mobile phone, mobile device, you can have a different menu. Maybe on the big main website, you've got 10 things in the menu, but then on the mobile, you've got three, the most popular ones. 
Unfortunately, you usually don't get a very good description of where will it actually appear. They usually call them like main menu, primary, secondary. They rarely, and this depends on the theme developer, do they call it top menu, right menu, footer left menu. So you kind of have to sometimes turn it on and then go view it and then say, oh, I put it in the wrong one. But probably the primary menu is probably this one at the top. And the secondary might be at the right or the bottom somewhere. We'll figure that out. I'm going to save it at this point. There's nothing in the menu, but I've created a menu. I've set it to appear somewhere. I've created a menu. I've applied it to a location. Now time to add items. Let's, uh, from pages, Let's switch over to view all. I want a home button. I want that menu to be visible. They can press the menu to go home. I want cart and checkout, good. I want my account, good. I want shop, good. I don't want sample. So you would activate the ones here and then click add to menu. So they're visible top to bottom in the editor, but here they will be visible left to right. So the first one at the top is the first one at the left, so left to right. That's the order right there. If I want it in a different order, if I want like shop to be very first, I can grab the little box and move it first. So from left to right, that'll be the first item. Let's say I do want them to check their account, but cart and checkout, I don't want those to be visible right away here. Maybe I want to hover over my account and then I can check out or cart. So watch this. If I drag an item below another item, notice it can either be the dotted line to the left or to the right. If it's to the left, if it's at the same level on the left, it's going to be visible next to it. If I drag it so that it's on the side there indented, it says sub item. And now when I hover over my account, it pops open. It drops down to show checkout. So let's say I want to put the cart and the checkout as sub menu items of my account. So be careful here because if you drag it and put it that way, it, this is below it here, but it's not inside of it. It has to be indented. You just have to find the right spot. You don't let go of the mouse until you see where it is. And if you're putting it right there, why isn't it indenting? It hasn't kind of hit the, the, the trigger area to detect it. So you just have to kind of move it around until you find it. There it is there. That's a sub item. But be careful because you can do this. What's happening here? Sub sub item. You hover over my account, this opens up. You hover over this, this opens up, and it shows you that. That might be something you want. Maybe if you've got a very complex hierarchy of products, you have shop, and then below that you have you know, sugar-free section, and then you have section that actually tastes good. And then below that, you have a subsection of that with cakes and cookies in there. And then in cakes under that, you have gluten-free. So you can make a really deep hierarchy as long as you just indent them over, drag them over to where you want them. See right there, whoops, I took it out of the complete indenting, and there it is in the right spot. I can save that. Well, I also want when a person hovers over <coughs> shop to show me the categories of my products. 
So right now I've been adding pages to my menu. We have posts, custom links, categories, WooCommerce endpoints. Categories. This is not the category that you think. This is the category for blog posts. That term is a little bit generic in the world of WordPress. Categories can be used for products or posts or other things. So this menu item here, this selector, is referring to categories related to our posts. This is an example of WordPress is pretty complex and it doesn't show you everything at once. And sometimes you have to turn on you have to turn on a check mark for something to show you that most people wouldn't know about or care about. So I want the product categories, not the post categories. At the at the very top of the screen, all the way to the top, we have screen options, a little tab at the very top. Most screens in WordPress have screen options where they reveal more things to do, plus a help thing up there. But if you go to the top here, I'm still editing the menu. We go to the screen options. If you click on screen options, you get a little tab. Show me boxes for pages, posts, products, custom links, categories, product categories. So I can put individual products in my menu. You probably don't want that. You want collections of products, which are product categories. Uh, we're never really going to use WooCommerce endpoints. That's pretty advanced. You can turn it off to never see it. You may or may not use categories of blog posts. Turn that off if you want. Do you want to put individual posts? One individual article? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Do you want to add tags? We've made tags, but do we want them in the menu? That's up to you. When you turn those on and off, then the boxes at the left here change. The one I definitely want is product categories. And then when I view all, so now under shop, I need to select to activate these. Cakes, cookies, pies. and then move them where they need to be. All three of these will be part of my shop. So once I add them, I'll drag them below shop and then indent them so that they drop down. And you can further refine this menu if you want, but we've done a lot with it, so save it. Make sure it has been set to some location, and then we will visit. Okay, so then you can visit site, and now the menu is a little bit more cleaned up. It doesn't have sample page. When you do uh, hover over right here, my account, it opens up to show you checkout and cart. So they're not always there, cluttering up the interface. When you hover over shop, you see those categories. You can still click on shop, and it'll show you all the products. But instead, if you click hover over and click on cookies, it only shows you cookies. You go to shop cakes, it only shows you cakes, which there are none at the moment. The description of cakes is visible there. If I had put in a thumbnail to that product, it would have appeared here as well.